Hey everyone, it's Jessica Edwards in Wilmington, North Carolina. So one of the hardest parts of my job is when I'm out in public or at social things and somebody's talking about the fact that they, you know, they know I'm in real estate or they find out I'm in real estate or whatever and they're talking about how they're trying to sell their house and the market's terrible, their house has been for sale forever and they start saying things because they want to talk about it and they know I'm in real estate and they want to, they want to discuss it. And it's so hard for me sometimes to hear people say things um, where there's little things where I just want to like sit them down for 10 minutes and be like, if you did this, this, and this, and no, like actually what you're saying is totally incorrect. Your agent stinks and hasn't given you any information that you need on how to get your house sold. Your house is never going to sell. Um, it's so hard for me to bite my tongue and to not say things and, and, it, and it comes from more of a place of wanting to educate them and wanting to help them. And it's really hard for me when people talk about that and you can't be like, actually, no. I mean, it's not really my place. That's your agent's place. And there's a lot of people that, you know, will work with a discount brokerage that just puts their house in the MLS. And there's no marketing. Um, there's no other agents backing that listing and supporting it and showing it to get it sold. And there's no sort of education on pricing and how it works, how to negotiate, you know, how to get that offer. And I think one of the biggest misconceptions that people have is that when you price your property, you need to leave all this room for negotiating. People soon, you know, think that if somebody's interested, they're going to make an offer and then you can negotiate. And, and that's great and, and in a hot market, yeah, that maybe is the case. But it's not when it's a buyer's market. If your property is priced too high, there's 10 other properties that aren't. And so people are going to make offers on those and negotiate with those sellers uh, before yours. So it is a complete, complete misconception that price, it's okay if your price is a little too high or whatever somebody's going to make an offer if they're interested, if we can just get an offer. That's the name of the game. You've got to get that offer. You're not going to get the offer if your price is too high. You're not going to have the opportunity to negotiate and get them to your price. So that's just something um, I heard, I guess, if you will. Um, and it's just such a misconception. Um, anyways, just my thoughts. If you have any questions or comments or you disagree, please feel free to email me at Jessica Edwards at seacoastrealty.com. Thanks so much for listening. Have a wonderful day.